The Moogle Tombstone event is back and is the best opportunity to get some of the most annoying mounts in the game. We're going to cover the Blue Mage farm technique as well as the prioritized rewards you should be aiming for during this event if this is your first or second time doing this. And also a little secret tip in order to have a better party finder experience in the game in general. Set forth by the Blue Mage Academy, we have a few options you can tackle with this. The first most casual way is just doing your regular duty roulette. Most often you'll get the trial or the dungeon that is in the event and can easily amass a good portion of tombstones before the end of the event which is the launch of 6.4 sometime in the middle of May or end of May. If you want to take a more direct approach to it and use your blue mage, then you have two options. Well, three, but I don't really like to solo content. I'd rather do it with a group. The first option is the four man content, which I'd say is a little more jump in beginner friendly for newer blue mages, as you won't need as many of the spells that you need for the eight man content. These do gather tombstones at about the same rate, so I wouldn't really be concerned about losing out or not maximizing or optimizing your tombstone farming per the blue mage academy which i will link the video and their discord below they are an absolute amazing group of people who put together all of the info for us for blue mage events that come up for four man content you will be doing tom tara deep croft heart you will need saintly beam and level five death both which are not extremely difficult to get and you'll probably see a party finder that you can join real quick in order to get those spells Saintly Beam you'll be getting from the Phantom Train in Sigma Scape V1.0, which is the Omega Raids. Level 5 Death you can get from the Great Google Library, the normal version. Both of these spells are not extremely difficult to get, especially if you find a party finder that will run you through it and it's guaranteed when you're in a full group. It is recommended that you take one tank blue mage and three DPS blue mages, and that's because as you're running through the dungeon, the timing for level five death is going to work out way better if you have that fourth one. I know some people will want to take a tank in instead, which you can do with warrior or probably paladin. Warrior is probably your best bet, but it is going to take a little bit longer. Now, this isn't my preferred method. I do like that they have a four man option for those who don't want to do the eight man version. That's a little bit more advanced. But if you can and you do have the abilities, Moon Flute, Self Destruct, Final Sting, you can find those spells on Blue Final Fantasy Collect website and it'll show you exactly how to get them. That's going to be a better option, in my opinion, because you're going to have people who know or should know what they're doing, which you can watch their video on the Blue Mage Academy in order to find the perfect rotation. And I think it's just going to go faster because you have a higher level of blue mage play i myself have blue mage completely maxed out so i will be shooting for this one in party finder ultimately this is not the best blue mage farm that we've had for this type of event this is still a really important opportunity in order to grab some of these mounts and rewards that we'll go over in a second for the super secret tip for party finder go over to ether data center if you are north american data center as they have party finding down to an exact science i myself am on chris Crystal on the goblin server and I just find that there's not as many party finders available. They are known as the rating server and therefore their party finder menu is far more used and so many people I know will travel there just to party find for stuff. So if you are newer to the game but you do have blue mage leveled then I would say go over to ether and look there for party finders. Speaking of which let's talk about rewards. There are some really great rewards here that are good for longevity. These three mounts Magitech Predator, Ixion, and Megal may logo trait i can never say that i have really bad <laughs> reading while i'm recording this magitech predator is from the alamigo dungeon and can be a complete pain in the ass to get ixion is a world boss that you usually need to use the centurio discord for in order to be able to attend these special fates that spawn every 72 hours i've had people get it within a matter of hours just because they spawned on different servers and they were on playing that's usually not the case and can take up to two weeks to get the ixion mount so I'd say definitely go for this one. The Mega Latragus mount is from Sky Builder scripts or Ishgard Restoration. 
you can purchase this off the market board but it can be really expensive so if you're gonna take this arm seriously or you're just gonna be consistent with it i'd say this is a must-have the other really important one is the nightmare mount this drops from either the bull of embers the howling eye extreme or the naval extreme the reason this one is really important to get is because it has such a tiny chance of dropping within these i think it's like less than five or less than three percent chance in order to drop so you definitely want to grab this one so then you do not have to farm it for later for those completionists out there get all the rewards that you do not have make sure to collect those from my own experience i would get the mounts that are from vendors tribal quest vendors because the only reason you do those tribal quests to max rank is for completionist sake but also for the mount so there are many people in game who hate doing tribal quests so this is a really good time to pick up those mounts so then you can completely disregard those if you don't want to do the earlier ARR ones. That's the Laurel Gobbygoo, which is that's how I just pronounce it, and the Calvary Elps. As far as the Porksy earrings, they do not rerun very often or ever. I know we've had the Kukurn earrings run before in previous events, but it's been a long time and Final Fantasy doesn't always allow you another way to get these items. So it's important to grab those earrings just for completionist sake. You do not have to worry. You have plenty of time to get all these if you just do your regular duty roulettes or if you just run a couple every day you should have more than enough within a month's time in order to get most of these rewards the last really important one i would get is the hairstyle the only way you can get that is the heaven on high through a silver sack these are just so few and far between that it's important to grab these while they're available not everyone has all day to farm these so it's really important to look at what you currently have or currently want and to make sure to get things that you you know you're probably never going to do in game which is the majority of final fantasy players who are not going to tackle everything now if you are more of an end game player and you have most of these things i would stock up on mgp cards this gives you 50,000 per turn in, which is 30 tombstones. They have added MGP mounts. They just become more and more MGP. And there's really no solid way in order to farm these in a active banner. They're more passive in game by doing the stuff in the golden saucer. So I would say if you have everything, focus on these because some of these mounts are super awesome. It's just going to take a long time for you to be able to get them. Let me know which preferred method that you are going to do for this Moogle tombstone event. We will be farming in my discord so if you don't have a discord or community that you would love to be in then i invite you to mine i also stream on twitch on tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays at 11 a.m pst i play final fantasy genshin the new star rail that's coming out and just overall like to hang out with the communities make sure to like and subscribe because this really helps push the video out to more people and i wish you all the well best if you want to watch my massive library of final fantasy guides and tutorials you can find those all in the description box under the playlist if you want to watch more final fantasy guide content then you can click here